the Love Manifestation Crate. Wish Geode for your manifestation. Lavender Driftwood Diffuser to invite love. Rough Amethyst to keep you grounded. Palo Santo to connect with your ancestors. Clear Quartz Heart for meditation. Chakra Bracelet for healing. Lavender Incense to increase vibration. Get yours for $40 with free shipping. Link below. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your Tarot After Dark. The Tarot After Dark is a reading done in the dark. So the energy is dark. And the message is not for everyone. But if you're willing to stay, we can begin. The fool. The fool is the card of a Pisces, but I feel like this is more of the situation itself. It's a passive aggressive connection. It feels like a tease. Someone comes and goes. Someone plays by the water with your emotion, checking if you're still gonna bite. So someone can be playing with you. And if it's a relationship, then someone's playing with your emotions and your heart and your feelings. And they enjoy this. Now the question is, do you enjoy this kind of connection where they're just playing and fooling around? The fool has nothing else better to do but just to go in from one connection to the other and one connection to the other. Now this is you. I feel like this Eight of Swords right here is a card of denial. You see these swords right here, you know you're gonna get hurt, but you're denying yourself of the truth. It's like, no, I'll hold on to this. Maybe I'm, my mind is just playing. I don't think this person will hurt me. So you're stuck in this tower, holding on to the connection itself, thinking that now things will change. I know it will change for the better. Something is not adding here with the three of wands. Slowly, you're speculating and you're looking at what you guys have built together. Slowly, you're trying to make sense of what your mind is telling you. You're assessing. Now, the person is not aware, Pisces, that you are right now in the thinking mode. They're focused in their work in their career, their focus on their coins and their money, their focus on themselves, while you try to figure out if this person was just playing you. So you keep you kept your peace. You don't want to disturb the relationship. You just want things to be. And they come around again, Two of Pentacles. The in and out, the passive aggressive, the one who tries to test you every time is back. They try to shake you, create you being off balance again. 
They're trying to find a weak spot in your life so that they can play with your emotions and your feelings because they know that you're a sucker for love. Who is not? The King of Cups. The Ace of Cups. You know and you're aware that this person has strong feelings for you. The issue here is why they never stay. And every time you want them, they're a little bit aloof. Seven of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Someone is being used and someone is being lied into. So now is the question, what's the truth? Is this person just lying to you so that they can use you? Ten of Pentacles. You can give them a lot of things. You can provide for them. You can be their emotional support, financial support can be a lot of things that you offer. Are you going to allow the lies to keep going? Are you going to offer yourself Ace of Pentacles? Are you going to try to ask them Page of Pentacles to be serious with you in the relationship? to finally commit to you and will they commit to you or will they just leave you again and you being caught off guard link down there in the description box below this is your tarot after dark let's see the extended reading bye guys